back of Paul. It could be play on though, and it could be any king. Lovely ball there, and it's a bit of pace being shown. Taken by Brown, and Brown's away. Still going Brown. Brown. Cena once again has one look out. Big he got the pace. Ah, oh, oh, baby, it's good all the time. Round the back. Here comes Manny Richards. Got the nothing. He's gone. It's round five of the Charter Hall Shoot Shield, and today we're at Manly Oval. Welcome to you wherever you're broadcasting this match live on Stan Sports. My name is Patrick Folks, and I'm joined by former USA International and Shoot Shield stalwart Tom Cooligan. Tom, welcome to you. Can Manly keep their winning form, or will a wounded North bounce back today? Well, it's a game. It's a it's an interesting game we've got here, folks. We've got Manly coming off from a Battle of Beaches win at the absolute death. And then we had the, the northern suburb side that ventured over, over the Great Dividing Range, came back the tail between their legs after a very tight loss to Eastwood. So, you know what? It's going to be a great contrasting game. Two sides coming with different form. It's going to be a tight one. A slight wet weather track today. You can see a little bit of drizzle that we've had in and around our eastern seaboard lately, but that won't stop us. It's the long studs out today as the crowd starts to filter in at the beautiful and iconic Manly Oval. And, of course, wet weather conditions might be the name of the day. No, you're absolutely right. The 22 millimeter studs will be out there, particularly for the front row today. This is going to be an absolute barnstorming game. And I tell you what, I think the conditions are probably going to favour the northern suburbs side. Some old heads there at 9 and 10. Nick Duffy and Angus Sinclair, perhaps that might be the difference. It's becoming a bit of a traffic jam at the top of the ladder, as you can see. Norths with Sydney Uni breathing down the, uh, down the next. But of course, today, a huge opportunity for Manly. Manly are poised. They're sitting right there and they're gathering form like a fine wine. Phil Blake starting to get a bit more understanding of this side. Got a number of players coming back. Max Douglas with the Waratahs last week has come back from last week. We saw him and James Hiddle Browning. James Hiddle Browning interchanged really, really well in that round week game. Looking forward to seeing them combine again. Yeah, we can see here the full North starting 15. And of course, there's plenty of talent. This North's machine after that, uh, uh, I guess some would say a surprise loss to Eastwood after they beat them in the trials. They're going to be hungry for a victory today away from home. They probably had about six hours in uh, long weekend traffic to think about the loss <laughs> on, the way, on the way back. But super excited for that side. Number of heavyweights there. And of course, Manly at home. They're going to be a tough team to beat, but who do you like out of this starting 15? Oh, Max Douglas coming back. He's a huge in for them as well. Hunter Ward in the back row too. And then not to mention, Offa Manafutua. He's been outstanding this season. And as we said, he's combining with Phil Blake. They came across City University together, and they're really starting to combine and gel. We've got a bit of extra silverware to play for today, because it's the Sorodden Cutler Shield. It's up for grabs. Norths won it off Manly in 2018, and then they lost it in round 10 in 2018, and they haven't played for it since. Now, the Sorodden Cutter Shield, it's a bit like the Rand Furley Shield, isn't it, Tom? <laughs> yeah, look, it, it's a team which, which basically has to win the home, the, home, the home game to win to carry on and keep that shield. But Sorodden Cutler VC, former Governor of New South Wales, won a VC at Syria of all places, Anzac Day last week. So, important, important time to, to think about his sacrifice. Lost the leg as well. Absolutely. The great history of the Anzac tradition in our great game of rugby union football. Our referees are on the field. Our players are on the field. We're about to get underway with round five of the Charter, Ho Charter Hall Shoot Shield. And Norths, they've kicked off. And it goes deep and high just outside the 22. That's well taken by Manafatoa. And Spice goes hunting for it, finds it. Manly just looking to truck it out of danger. Good tackle there coming from the sea of red and black jerseys. Norths just looking to hold them inside. That's Coco, who's losing the ball out to the left. Norths gather quickly. A good little kick on by Nathan Russell, but it's gone over the sideline. And so just a little bit of argy-bargy to open the match. Loose kickoff there, but I love Manu Futura just taking the bull by the horns there. That's the kind of confidence you get when you've got four or five games on the trot and he's starting to gel an understanding of the side. James Hiddlebram in the lineup though. How good was he two weeks ago against Randwick? Himself and Max Douglas combined together. Four man lineup, five man lineup with that split at the back. That's confidence. Manly very good off the top and they continue that form already. Spice fires the ball quickly out and well met in defense. Coco was hit hard by the North's defense. Now they move it back onto this short side. Just trying to probe and see what's out there. That's Ward. Spice finds his man. Nice little truck at the top from Gleason. And they're just probing up the middle at the moment. Now they try and find some space. And here's something coming from Kamasala, who throws the ball forward, unable to hold onto it. And you can see it's a little bit of a mud pile in the middle of the field. Well taken there by Boston Karapa, who dived on top of it. And now they send it back with a bit of interest. Kamasala met well. Good tackle coming on him. 
from Ma'u. Manly rush back. Spice. Eventually finding his captain in the Palia. Spice sending it back. Across field now they go. Valentini finding his man. And now a little space opening up for Ben. Ben gets the pass away. Manly looking a bit dangerous on that far side, but the North defence marches across. Harry Bury just barking some orders at his troops. Oh, great line by Hildebrand there. Up the guts. Spice. A little short ball coming. Felipe. Well met. Good tackle coming in. A little bit of slow ball there for Spice. Now Manly trying to send it at the back. And we know how dangerous their backs can be with ball in hand. Kamasala gets a bit of space. Throws it oh, back to the inside. A fantastic intercept. Now North's on the charge. Quick ball needed. But it's unable to be taken cleanly. Oh. And the ball will go over the sideline. What an opening two and a half minutes we've had. Oh, well, the jockeys are ignoring it. It's a heavy eight out there. They have played some enterprising rugby. The Manly Marlins running here from absolutely everywhere. How about the skills here on the outside? Outstanding play here by Manly. Found Kamusala on the outside. Sinclair with a huge intercept play. That could, oh. have, that could have been an absolutely try-saving effort because Manly were looking away for all money as Norths get the ball over the top and go to the back pod. Just start to rumble at the back. Not going anywhere at the moment, though. Great throw there by Margan. That's huge confidence there. Now the kick comes through from Duffy. Kicks it high. Oh, it's not taken cleanly, but it is taken by Kamasala. Gets the ball away. Now Manly starts to motor through the bend through Ben. And a bit of space opening up for Tui. But he's shut down. He was just asking a few questions at this breakdown, but Spice gets it away. And try to truck it over in the middle of the field, just avoiding the big cricket pitch in the middle. Max Douglas with that charge. And Manly get the penalty. Not rolling away was the call. Jeez, hasn't Max Douglas just added a heck of a lot of substance to this forward pack? So we've been using both Waratahs in the last couple of years, and he looks light on, but he's come back to this shoot shield, and he's playing like a man on a mission. Absolutely, and certainly got a point to prove today as Manly look to get some points at home. As that ball goes into the 22. Not quite a Mark Gerard, but good territory nonetheless. No, good territory gain. As I said, James Hildebrand. Max Douglas gives you set piece confidence. What's this ladies' day here down at down at Manly as well? And a good crowd in. I see a lot of guys, not much ladies. <laughs> I think they're in the grandstand <laughs> yeah, they're hiding beneath there, us <laughs> in the in, in the tent, <laughs> enjoying some of the finer things that the Manly Marlins can put on today. They're over. Hugo's having some uh, mango. Gelatos. <laughs> As the ball is kicked by Sinclair. Just tries to get a bit of territory on it. Not his best click. It's a kick. shank. Angus Sinclair. 99 caps for Norths yep. today. What an achievement. Huge in, in any form of the game. He's a, he's a journeyman, Angus. He's Colts University, then played at East, went over and played for Jersey over in the, the championship. He's come back to Northern Suburbs with his brother Hugh. And of course, the other brother, Hamish. Angus, one of Shoot Shield's great servants of the game yeah, certainly a strong rugby pedigree in that family as they go short and this is looking dangerous from the marlins just trying to catch north's napping they almost did spice fires it out quickly to felipe just caught on the five meter line spice goes again manly just trying to recycle it quickly hildebrand met well and thrown to the ground the Marlins going backwards at the moment but still in possession they shoot out to the left just trying to find some space ward Ward still going, gets chopped down just outside the five meter line. Marlin still on the charge. Fourth phase rugby now. Almost, almost a lifting tackle, but manages to rectify the situation. Spice looking to find a runner. Ball is lost, who wants it? It comes back for Norths. Duffy goes on a hunting mission to try and get it. And a knock on both ways. It's all manly. They are playing like a team with purpose. We've seen the pendulum, that piston style play going either side. But they are structured, they are ordered, there is clarity. Their shape is absolutely perfection. And you can see that they're finding soft shoulders every single time. And the clarity has to roll in detail from every single support play. It's on point. Absolutely. And this is the first scrum of the match, I believe. And it's only the sixth minute. This will be interesting to see what happens here. Looking forward to seeing the battle between Hiltzbrand and Margan. The young buck and the old bull. Long, long start to be needed today. 22 mils for sure, no question. <laughs> Wouldn't want to forget that in the kit bag. 
But Marlins, what can they do with this opportunity that they've earned for themselves here? North's defense tested early in this match. Here they come, they charge. Manafatoa just cut short of the line. And North on the jackal penalty. Fantastic work over the ball. And the Marlins will have to walk away with nothing from this early strike. Jeez, what a play there from Harry Fury, the skipper. Off up, Manuel Fatua, he's probably got 30 kilos on him. Running that hard under his line. It was a great chop tackle. We saw there from the Northern Suburbs player. I believe it was Charlie Jevons Fellows coming across. But the hard work was done there by Fury. The low tackle. Manuel Fatua fell the wrong way. Great pilfer there. You know, that's a real mature play. That's on the side that knows exactly what they're doing and understands the combinations. Playing with purpose. I mean, this is going to be a cracking game, folks. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing how this plays out. It's almost get the get that line out. It's gone to the back pod. So it's North's in possession. Buffy just wants to get a few more meters before he sends it high and does so. Yuri gives chase. He wants it. It comes down for the North's captain. Excellent work in the contest. Now North's have the opportunity. Duffy sends it back. And Sinclair kicks high, looking to find some territory and bounces it over the sideline. Jeez. It's a bit distracted there. I'm yet to, try, yet to find a female out there on the field. And, it, and it's apparently Ladies' I think, Day. I think that tent, as you can see who's, on the far side of the field, who's is. Who's the Manly Social Secretary? <laughs> it's got to be an inquiry. There needs to be an I investigation. I haven't seen a female. I'm pretty sure the first one is, is, is the Norse physio. Terrible. <laughs> so James Hildebrand. A lot more girls eat the suburbs, ladies' day. I'll tell you that much. James Hildebrand throws the ball for Manly. Off the top, it's well serviced to Spice and moves it into the midfield. Valentini sends it across. A man for Toa. The ball's been lost, though. Where's it been Great kicked hit through? Great from Russell. And the pressure from North just being up there, asking oh, questions. That, that Fury and Nathan Russell combination. We've seen them in action the last couple of years. They're both on the cusp. On the cusp of playing at the next level. Pretty sure they're sitting out there waiting for a USMLR contract. <laughs> <laughs> they can play. Coming out of the LA Giltonies. Oh, we found some girls, finally. <laughs> I'm sure there's with plenty of Aussies coaching over there. It's not a bad time to be performing well in the shoot shield if you wanted to have a season in the US. As the ball is well taken. Off the top there by Clement Fontaine. Now, French. Frenchman on the field today, also in blue. And just to keep this ball. Oh, could have been taken there. Could have been taken. Turn it looks ball. like it has been. And that's not going anywhere, so it will be a North's feed. And they really applied the pressure off that off that mall. Oh, great work with the Northern Suburbs side. Looks to be Dave Henneway there, getting through the middle. Just didn't quite have that strong foundation up front that you really, really need off there. Okay. I'm not a huge believer of going for a driving more for short man line out. I just think you don't have the bodies up front there to really secure that. It allows bodies to come straight through. Yeah, it was Henneway right there. Outstanding play. And again, it's a big play for Northern Suburbs. We're talking about a 90-metre field position gain there from that penalty, you know, from the Bury jevons fellows combination. In two minutes of play as well. Yeah. And a little great kick, for, great kick from Angus Sinclair as well. Recognising the space, a little banana kick. So the second scrum of the match and a huge opportunity for Norths. Can they do here? Great field position. Duffy feeds it in. North Scrum starts to rumble, does well. Great platform there for the backs. They go on the charge through their captain, Bury. Norths continue out to the left. Here comes Sinclair's met well in the tackle. Good place back. Manafatoa coming in a bit hot and he's been pinged by the referee. Norths have the advantage, still on the charge. <laughs> Offside call. Look, I know it's a penalty right in front here, but North had the towel up. I mean, they've had minimal field position. They absorbed all that pressure, and they're down there now. I'd love to see them go for corner. I really would. Angle. Ang okay. Oh, okay. good on you, Gus. Okay. They're going for the corner, so they heard you. Sorry. You heard me. Stop. Stop. Oh, no. Nah. And then ignored you. <laughs> so, taking the points. I guess that shows a huge amount of the respect that Norths have for what man they can potentially do today. Yeah, you're absolutely right. It's been a tough year for Manly, particularly last year. And as we said, Phil Blake and Chris Deleuze have come across from City University. And you can just see 
the structure that they're playing with at the moment, it's a lot like a university attacking plan, if you ask me. But that's no criticism at all. And you've got, you know, the stability there up front of Hildebrand. Also got Douglas there in the second row. Plus got that go forward Manu Futura in the back in the back line. And a good spine as well. It's great to see Manly firing. I mean, obviously as well, we talked about it, folks. He came up with confidence of a Battle of the Beaches win last yes. week in, in, in emphatic style. A two-point And they victory. got flogged last year in a similar fixture. Well, that's their first time beating uh, Warringah in five years. Wow. Yeah. It says it all, doesn't it? That's the kick you'd think would go through. And does so. So, Norths, they take the lead in this match. Penalty. And a reward for their territory and their effort. Three points to zero after 12. So now Manly will have to reset. Just really emphasizing the importance of that great little tackle there from Bury with the outstanding turnover there from the north back row. Another another strong rugby family, the Buries, talking to their general manager of Norths, Jack, yesterday. Good Wagga people. Great Wagga people. Good pubs down at Wagga. Really good pubs. As, uh, the ball is kicked deep in it. Not finding touch, though. So, Manly get the chance to reply through James Omson. Kicks high. And the ball's allowed to bounce. Where's it going to go? Sinclair. Has to dive over and secure it very quickly. It was just a sea of blue jerseys in front of him. Yeah, you know, North just a little bit on the back foot as they try and get this out cleanly. The angle is not great on the kick. So, just a little error from Great. North allowing that to bounce, and it's going to put them under a little bit of pressure. They just switched off there. You see, it's been a bit of a seesawing game, but the importance of securing that ball and exiting. And that's where Gus Sinclair, mature players, make mature decisions, exactly what he did. Five man line out split. And again, well taken off the top. Manly just so good in that space. Spice sends it to Manafato, charges up through the middle. Well met. North's attempting a steal, but unable to get it. Still going, Manly. The Marlins, the probe on the left. Spice, giving good service. That was Coco with the run. Ward, just getting over the 22, and a good clean-out coming from the home team. And oh, an Take intercept! It. A fantastic intercept. It was telegraphed. This is going to be a fantastic run from Russell. He goes for the line. Is he going to get there? He does! And North score the first try in this match like a thief in the night. And they get the pickies right over the try line on the right-hand side. Oh, I'll tell you what, that last 20 metres was like a metre this morning on the treadmill. It was going absolutely nowhere. What a great read there by Nathan Russell. And against the run of play too, and poor exit there by Northern Suburbs. It doesn't matter. You can see there, Russell's hamstrings heavily strapped. Look at that. I did <laughs> Laurie Daly style with the big blue. I love it. Just the big mitt went up and he caught it perfectly. And despite the solid chase from the Manly defence, managed to get there over the line. You can see the hammy <laughs> He was at 75% there. He wasn't fully extending. It's Laurie Daly, Camera Raiders grand final. What a reference. So, North all of a sudden up by eight. 15 minutes gone in this match after what was a dominant opening stage from Manly. Now they have the chance to add the extras. Check out the DJ in the background. <laughs> Sounds like a bit of good tunes going on in there. Doing a great a bit job. Of, bit of a light show. The dance floor is going off. It's only, what, four o'clock? You're heading there afterwards, aren't you, the next set? Locked me in. Jimmy Galvin and me, we're on it. Eight points to zero. Sinclair. He's having a great time. It's fantastic stuff. Shoot shield, club up beats, what you want. Absolutely. Best club rugby competition in the world as Sinclair kicks high. He's got the power. Has it got the accuracy? No. So eight points. It will remain. North lead Manly at home. And Manly will be scratching their heads after what felt like all the momentum was starting to come back to them. And then North stole it right back. You've got a feel for the Marlins. They've fired all the shots. They've thrown all the punches. And they've come away with absolutely nothing. And... This is what Northern Suburbs side does. Very New Zealand All Blacks off them. Absorbing and then counter-punching. So the ball's again allowed to bounce. Not sure if that came oh, backwards is the call. It's all going Northern Suburbs here. Even that bounce. Bury, good run there. Well, sorry, not Bury. It was James Margan. 
Now, Morse is a little flat footed, but they're trying to find some space on this oh, short wow. side. And Mo does well, gets the ball away. Still going. Gary Bouts, huge carry. Now was a little crawl, and yes, the referee. Not having much of that. He's claiming he was pulled, but I reckon there was just a little extra shuffle at the end there. <laughs> Gary, Gary Bouts with the commando crawl. Yeah. Sam Burgess through the wormhole. There's some, there's some bad moustaches running around with some of them. Not in the commentary box, though. No, no, your moustache is great. Thank you. So a line out now just outside the 22, coming off to the rounding the first quarter of this match. Jeez, I mean, the bounce of the ball really is going to the suburbs way there. Secure that ball for what was a, a pretty errant kickoff receipt by them. That's not straight. Mm, not straight. So, just a little let off in pressure. The Marlins will get possession. Tough one there. Uncontested throw at the back, but just dropped his right hand. Gary Bouts did his best to try and make it look straight. But fortunately, it's quicker as a question mark that one. Dion Spice with ball in hand. He's also got a bit of rugby pedigree. His uncle Jason played for the Hurricanes. Kiwis out here at the moment. There's a lot of them down in the eastern suburbs at the moment too. There's a couple floating around City University. And uh, yeah, yeah. Great to have right the Tas Tasman Brothers crossing this way. Absolutely. A couple of good games last night versus Kiwi sides. The Western Force just down versus the Blues and the Reds just down versus the Chiefs. Two close games though. Very close games. The Aussie Conference certainly fighting in Su Super Rugby Pacific. Plenty of action coming up tonight live on Stan Sport. Even now, why would you want to be anywhere else when you've got Charter Hall Shoot Shield right here as the ball is kicked high and contested well in the air. Great steal by North, and that's now a maul. Matt Ryan underneath that one. Seb Cameron and used once was the call from the referee, and that's going the way of Manly. So it becomes the North's feed. Good clear communication from our referee team today. Classes in session. Classes in session. Every game is another opportunity to learn a new law. That's it. I say the referee today has been absolutely fantastic. Minimal scrums, whistles barely been in play. It's been an open flowing game. So, Let's go, fellas. Ready? Let's go. Important scrum as we round the halfway mark of this first half. Manly just went under a bit of pressure from the, the North pack. Last scrum that we saw there, and George Thornton, obviously from the Scottish side, and Apelosi Renawa as well from Fijian Heritage, and that's a big front row. Margan also, great scrum jump. North get it well. Bury sends it across nicely to Nathan Russell. Duffy. Going to find his man, doesn't do so, and Singler has to go back and rescue the situation right in the middle of the Manly cricket pitch, which is touched. Now it's been kicked through. Omson goes back to collect and right, tries to put a big boot on it. Former college footballer, spending a little time in the United States, played for Weber State University. So he certainly knows the thing about needing to kick under pressure. Just, just a little bit stilted at the moment, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, lateral there from the side of the side. It was a great carry by Russell through the centre. They got hips and shoulders through contact. Very dominant over advantage line carry. And then also the side came around the corner, lethargic. There was no accountability, no clarity, details to who was the ball carrier. Yeah. Yeah. And then they had the platform. It was a great that's scrum. It was a great out. carry by Russell. And if anything, that's an opportunity missed. And yeah. you know, that's a disappointing outcome there. It was a front foot ball inside the 22. Coach will be, Max Beer, will be getting out his red pen going, and okay. looking at that as an opportunity that probably slipped through the cracks there, Oaksy. Absolutely, is so the manly player down in back play. James Hildebrand. I think it is. I, yeah. know, I know that walk. What's that walk? <laughs> it's a duck walk. <laughs> the Cecil walk. So things will just get reset as the yeah, Suns come out at here. Manly Oval. Just wait, time's not on, time's not on. Good to time see on. a bit of sunshine as Leon Spice just gives a little feedback to James Morgan. Morths. Let's go to the back, and it's off the top. He has to work for it. Well done. Does so. Duffy 
Moves it across field. Bury. And throw it back on oh, the edge. This is play. dangerous from Mo, who goes around the outside looking. Can he get the ball oh, that's away? High. That's a high shot. Oh. The advantage is played. North recycle it. Lange Gleason with the high tackle. The coat hanger. Still going. Duffy goes digging for it. Tries to find Sinclair and does so. Another little short ball coming to run away. Who looks to get the offload away. Decides against it at the last second. Probably the right call. Lovely ball to Thornton. Gets the ball through and spice. Gleason some pressure. Gleason's Gleason in trouble here. Yeah. No advantage offside. Let's have a look at this. That was a... Okay, we've got one over there for the high tackle one here. Okay, that, that was an old-fashioned coat hanger. He's got away the free one there. Yeah. <laughs> it may have been missed, obviously. No live action replays. And Charter Hall shoots shields. Yeah. So <laughs> metal on guys. Five metal on. But North will get the reward. Get some potential more points on the board. This is a textbook Northern Suburbs performance here. Reminds me a lot of the Eastwood side in the 2013, 14, 15. We had a crux of mature players. We just found ways to win games. Good play here. Great start of play. Good line out throw to the back. Good throw from Margan. Duffy found Sinclair. Good shift on the outside from Bury. Found Russell. We found Reese Maua, who's one of their great try scoring players. We found the other winger there, Seb Cameron, who had his head taken off. So Sinclair. Slips towards the post. Should be a regulation kick and strikes it well and it goes through. So Norths extending their lead 11 points to zero. Manly just scratching their heads at the moment. They want to do something to bring in the crowd as well. It's ladies day, the sun's come out. There's a good crowd in. Just want to remind North that actually you are on the northern beaches. It's just kind of a lethargic start from the Manly Marlins. Like they're not playing poorly, but North just seem to have somehow gotten their way to 11 0 kind of win without actually doing anything. And they're hungry. But now Bury. Well. Uh, tackle. Duffy sends it back. Sinclair. Kicks it high. Got a snow on it. It's gone that high. And it comes down and well taken by James Omson. It gets away from one tackle but loses the ball forward. Ranawai picks it up, but I think it was that an offside? This is their chance here. Manly here, this is their first opportunity. We know that the potency of their line out and their driving more. We saw that in action two weeks ago against Randwick and last week versus the Ringer Rats. This is their chance. So, looking to get some territory. That kick is good. Just outside the 22, though. Jeez, a couple of rays of sunshine coming through as well. Some beats in the background. What a time to be alive. It's a fantastic day at Manly Oval. I'm listening to the thoughts of Tom Kulikin and myself, Patrick Folks, live on Stan Sport. And a little short ball by the Marlins. Again, they do a little cheeky one at the line out. Hildebrand moves it across field. It's in the 22 now for the home team. It's no, counter right coming it, from Norths, but Morgan unable to affect any damage. As the Marlins continue their charge. Spice sends it out to the left. And that's a fantastic one from Valentini. Just caught short, five metres short of the line. Spice, okay. netball passes it away quickly to Mana Fatoa. Advantage there for the Marlins too. They continue, quick ball needed. Ward gives it away, and Marlins strike. A fantastic run over the line. Ivan Felipe goes over. Sorry, Lange Gleason, I believe that was. But it was a fantastic patient effort, and the Marlins finally get their award. You said it, folks. Here, this is the first time they've had an opportunity down there on the field. Little trick play the line out the front. Gleason going up the guts. Hildebrand in the half. They got some width there, but it was a 10 Valentini that went straight through like a knife through butter. Trying to shoot he, uh, replay here. Gleason there with a carry on the right hand side. It was a handsome Max Douglas that I was most impressed with. Yeah, a fantastic finish. Douglas providing the, the movement. And now, Henry Valentini is just going to try and add the extras and rein in this North's advantage. I love seeing Valentini ball in both hands, cutting through the defence, squaring those hips up. He's starting to play some real confidence and conviction, isn't he, in the moment, folks? He Absolutely. He looks like a man. On a mission. 
five minutes gone in this match. Martini just takes a moment, looks towards the post. Has, his, has he got the radar on today? The kick looks good. It looks very good. It's successful. So a difficult kick from the sidelines made to look easy. Get the crowd a little bit excited. You just hear a bit of a buzz in and around the grandstand and on the far side. That may be because they heard you're coming up next in the set, though. That, so. was, that was it. TC on the decks. Sinclair. Kicks high. Taken by... Margaret's in a good position there. He might have that. Margaret has done an outstanding pilfer there. Duffy. That's a huge play. Duffy does well to move it on quickly. North's now. Can they strike back immediately after Manley has scored? You know how today? No ceiling over the ball. So they put themselves in a good position, but then a little error crept in. Oh, Manley have gotten away with a free one there. James Margaret did a great job. You notice with that kickoff, Manley, a little bit lethargic. They were sitting around waiting for someone else to do something. Margaret with a great turnover. Did his bit, but then the Northern Suburbs side, there was just absolutely no urgency to transition after the turnover. So we need your 9s and your 10s to step up, and as we said, both sides a little bit hesitant here, folksy. Absolutely. Someone, someone just needs to put their stamp on this match and think they'd actually really make a mark early. Got to give him a break, he's getting old. Points to seven. This game is dying for someone <laughs> just to make a play. Slow track, though, today. Rain, did not look straight and he's called accordingly so that's harsh it's the second non-straight throw today yeah one from north from manly a harsh call on james hildebrand i am somewhat sympathetic being a hooker and a pretty average throwing hooker myself but i mean uncontested back of the line out cutting some slack he's got that haircut needs a break so, it's from just moving off the, uh, the mud battle in the middle of the field. It's a Manly Oval cricket pitch. Of cricket played here in the summer. One of the great cricket ovals, Manly. Manly Cricket Club, fantastic club with a great history. Picturesque, picturesque ground. It's a really fantastic field here. Literally a stone throw from Manly Wharf. It's got a great cosmopolitan atmosphere in the area too. A lot of tourists, a backpackers, a lot of ponds. Great to see some visitors to our great harbour city as Duffy. Gives a little short ball to Mawa. Does well. It's over the advantage line and North's continue their charge through Carroll. Probing on the right hand side, Margan. Gets away from one tackle, still That's going. Back. James Morgan. Oh, back. Play still on. probing. Sinclair gets it away oh, to Bury, and the ball's been lost forward. Manly collector, right, Nick Ben. Ball's placed back, and a little pick and go. Home side just trying to ask some questions, and we'll just a flick pass on no, at the moment. No. We just needed a bit more support there. Look, I really admire and respect the enterprising nature of this rugby, but I'd like to see Angus Sinclair and, and Nick Duffy just. Take a bit of control, field position, territory. The sun might be out, but it's still a heavy eight, a heavy eight out there. And they need a little bit more kind of structure in those exits to get down there. I am stoked the sun's out for the first time this year, but <laughs> yeah, we need to. We need about three weeks of sun to dry out all our all our shoot shield grounds across the city. That's it. Them and the golf courses. <laughs> yes. Water's brown, the golf courses are closed. We've got some rugby on today. Which is what we want to see. The scrum on the far side of the field. Just over 10 minutes left in this first half. North's 11, Manly 7. Still anyone's game at the moment. Who's going to be leading? And they'll go into the sheds at half time. Now, Toa just Great charging carry. up through the guts. And it's just trying to pilfer and cause some havoc. Spice gets it away though. Good run there from Gleason. Spice goes to the right. Little short ball. And again, Manly so dangerous with ball in hand quickly. Kamasala gets away from one, but brought to ground just near this, our broadcast sideline position. Marlin still probing. Spice hunts for it, finds it, gives it to Valentini. Gleason as well. And she's asking a few questions at the moment, but a little kick over the top. Well taken at the back. So Cameron sends it downfield with a bit of interest. There's no one really at home. Eventually, 
James Thompson gets there. Has to rush the kick through. A little bit aimless there from the Manly Marlins side. It's a 40 minute net loss. Pretty average kicking on their behalf. And as you touched upon there, it was a great kick from Seb Cameron. I tell you what, I am really impressed with this non zombie back row. Charlie Jevons Fellows, he's on every single breakdown. He's not taking it, he's slowing it down. He's been outstanding. It's a real battle of the back, back row today. Sinclair moves it on quickly to Bury and good tackling, good pass to get the ball away. Back on the inside, the ball is lost. Gleason, then just to regather. The Marlins just going to have to ask a few more questions up the middle. That ball's been lost forward. Kieran Rabi just unable to hold on to it. So now we'll have another scrum virtually in the same position, but on the flip side of the field. Yeah, it's a little bit loose here from both sides. There's a real initiative and intent to play some really enterprising attacking rugby. But you can see the conditions just aren't quite allowing that. Got to play the conditions, got to play what's in front of you. Love to see again the nines and the tens, those key decision makers taking control of the game. Let me said that very seesawing affair today, folks. And the scoreboard reflects that. Yeah, absolutely. It is still anyone's game about who's going to be leading as we head into half time. Spice just takes his time as the scrum gets set. Okay. Little pop up there. Don't go head to head. Okay, and don't stand of course, up. Up again. No, I mentioned no, earlier, no, this, no, this no, game no, is no, very no, interesting no, for no, the no, ladder. No, of course, no, North's no, on top no, at the moment on 17 points, but they've got Sydney Uni <laughs> right on their heels. And next week, it's so North's and Uni. That's going to be an absolute cracking clash, depending on the result here today, of course. Yeah, the university side, they are finding form. And they come up against another suburb side as well, that they are absolutely really maturing too and getting a lot of recruits three changes to the uni back line this week Australian sevens player floating around second grade two I've been told Louis Holland not a bad guy to come off the bench not a bad guy at all spent some time with the Rebels and this is a fantastic play from the Marlins little short pass there from Valentini is that ball lang has got it gets bashes his way through a tackle the Marlins have made few meters off that play and they're looking to probe on that left hand side Good tackle there coming on Ward, who places the ball back. Spice wants quick ball, dummies, and gets the ball away. Good run there from Douglas. Met well, though. North Margin. asking questions. <laughs> Have they stolen it? Yes. No. Yes, with the penalty. James Margin. Again, that work over the ball Number by the visiting team. The it's just no doubt, folks. He, North have won the battle of the back row. Three to four turnovers. They're winning two things there. They're winning that physicality battle. They're winning the urgency to get there, the intent. We've seen that a few times. Margaret's made a couple. Jevons Fellows has made a couple. They're technically sound in their body position, and they're winning that race to get there. That kick might not have gone out. I no, don't it think has. it has. It has. Has it? Okay, no, it, no hasn't. it hasn't. So Manly kick back with a strong bit of interest. North, we left to rue that missed opportunity. Sinclair, we're disappointed with that one. Is puts his side under a little bit of pressure. Duffy. Unable to get the ball out quickly enough, and that's a penalty to Manly. Oh, Angus Sinclair. And that's a huge turnaround. It's a massive miss there by him. Kicking himself. Just came off the wrong side of the boot. Driving play the straight off their feet and killed and the be contest. surprised too on that side of the field. The sun's a bit in your eyes, and it's easy to lose focus when you're getting some serious heckling with a strong Irish accent, which is what that corner is. Manly, just before half time, this could be a massive play. Valentini just look to get that near the five meter. He's pretty close. We're about ten meters out from the line. The Norths. They're gonna have to defend in their red zone, which they haven't had to do too often in this match. Virtually in the first opening three minutes. No, they've done a really good job of keeping Manly down their own end through some great kicking from Sinclair. Wait, wait. This is the opportunity that Manly would have won. A great set piece. They look to rumble, but get the ball away. Dangerous again from the Marlins. They're so tricky when it comes to the line out. Spice finds the ball, eventually gets it out. Two metres short of the line. The Marlins continue to charge. They've got runners on the outside. Robbie goes in, but just can't get there. North's defence is really having a muscle up at the moment. It's goal line territory for the visiting team. They don't want to give away a penalty either. Manly continue to probe. They go to the left of that breakdown. 
Still charging the Marlins. Spice looks for it. Is that a try? I think it is. Fantastic effort. I think it was Hildebrand. They're still going. I thought he called it. Try line. So Manly continue to charge at the line. They have advantage now as well. And there's the try. They get their just desserts for patient and enterprising play, bashing their way at their North's defence, and they get an important strike just before half-time. Oh, you said it, folks. See that kick from Sinclair, that errant kick. That could potentially be a 14 play turnaround. Great set-piece execution. Hill to Brown to Douglas. Huge ball carrying up the front. And when you and Manly got within five metres, they've got the firepower, they've got the cavalry, they've got the key kilos to get over that try line. Outstanding play, all on the same page, getting around towards that post. Let's have a look at this replay because we saw... Uh, but it didn't matter because they got there in the end. So a fantastic piece of effort. And again, the momentum of this match has swung and it swung well and truly with the home team as Valentini, easy as you like, slots that over the black dot. And now it's the Marlins who lead Norths for the first time in this match. Such a mature performance here from the Manly side. An uncharacteristic error from Angus Sinclair gave them a sniff. And once they were down there in that field position, we just knew their set piece execution and those big bodies rumbling around the corner. The man, they're going to be too hard to stop. And their tails are up, folksy. So Norths will have to rebuild. Trailing for the first time in this match. Spice. Gets the ball away. Just a little pod hit up. Patient play from the home team. Spice just happy to... Ooh, almost, almost losing it through that clean out. He almost took too much time there. Eventually Should gets the penalty. box, kicks away. And it's well taken in the air, but it will be back for a penalty of taking out the halfback. It's pure frustration in the northern suburb side. They know they've given Manly a sniff, let them back into the game. And that kind of loose breakdown, kind of sloppy defense. Well, that's a bit of an uncharacteristic mistake, you'd say, from Norths in the last two years. Very disciplined side. Just, I mean, quite clearly, it's a midfield box kick. The angle is probably not going to be great with where the line is. Just an errant mistake, and you're just piggybacking penalties here for the Manly side. Allowing them to get down that area of the field and perhaps, you know, a frustrating loss in tight circumstances last week. A couple uncharacteristic mistakes today. Are the wheels falling off? <laughs> well, there's plenty of, this is, it's plenty of footy left to come. It's just, we've got two sides going two different ways here on the table. Manly going that way, North with a loss. Oh, that was, ball's been shot back, so North get a little... Opportunity now. Duffy kicks over the top. Wants to see if there's anyone at home. That ball hasn't gone out in the full note. Stays in the field of play. Fantastic chase through from Mahu. Great kick there from Duffy. Beautiful touch. So, Manly now. Omson just had to get in there to get the ball away. Fontaine goes in to collect. Now, Spice. No pressure on him at the moment. Box kicks it. To get it out of that red zone, it's well taken in the air by Sinclair. Great kick there from Spice on a dime. Good charge coming through. North's under pressure. Duffy goes hunting for it. Wants to see what's on the left. Gives it to Margan. We know how dangerous he can be. He gets the offload away. Is there anything the Silker can't do? Spice makes the cover tackle. And the referee will say no. Nope. That's a forward pass. But almost a little enterprising attack on this short side. Just getting a little check there on the old shoulders and arms on Charlie Jevons' fellows. He's told us shoulders, knee and toes, as they say. So let's just have a look at Great this. Great play for Margin here. Margin, he's just, he's an everywhere man. And God, the offload away. It was, this was any opportunity here. Huge tackle there from Spice on Maua coming across. But had that tackle not been made, it was a two-on-one. I think we would have backed himself. So that's a try-saving tackle there from... Spice coming across and it all started there with a great play from Margan, folks. He, he's outstanding. Yeah, he's certainly one to watch and one of the danger men for the Shawman. Spent time at City University in the Colts program and Nick Duffy himself moved across the north. Won a premiership over there as well. A couple of outstanding players. 
course, everyone's talking about Australian rugby's hooker depth at the moment, so... Oh, I wish I was five years younger. <laughs> and five kilos heavier. <laughs> oh, you would have been in gold for sure, mate. It's just you time to run wrong. That's why I ran away to America. <laughs> <laughs> 14 points and that was before left. there was a pro cop where they were making money. <laughs> Cost money playing for America. You're listening to the thoughts <laughs> of Tom Cooligan, former USA international, live on Stan Sport. A good scrum there, but Manly get it away. Nice run from Cook Cook. Marshes away one. Gets the ball placed back. Does well the big man. Manly just looking to probe. Rabi. Nothing dangerous at the moment, just playing a few settlers as we get close to half time. Valentini sends it to Omson, gets the ball away to Ben. Ben over the 40 metre line. They can hear that siren in the distance of the of the grandstand. Will they want to keep playing? But they come back for the penalty. So now they have an opportunity. Do they send it to the sheds or do they have one last crack in this half? The towels are up. I think they've got a bit in the tank here, the man we saw. Confidence in their set piece. If I'm Phil Blake, tell him to keep playing. And I think they will. So it looks like they will. Valentini. Jeez, this manly side are getting better every week. Valentini, a Victorian who hails from Harlequins Rugby Club. Spent some time with the Brumbies as well. See a bit of sprinkling of Victorian rugby in our compass. Talking about that last week, Stan Bissett. Yeah. Weary Dunlop. A couple of wallabies that, that come from Victoria. Second oldest club in Australia, I believe, is down in Powerhouse. Down yeah. Powerhouse. Yeah. Yeah. So Hill to Brands. Floats one up. Well taken. Spice sends it in the middle of the field. And that's taken by Gleason. Does well. Gets over the halfway line. Right in the middle of the mud pit. Spice. Gets it away from the cricket pitch. He wants some speed from his backs. The ball almost becoming a knock-on. And the Marlins charge up through the guts. And it's unable to get a pilfer. Manafatoa. Unable to get any momentum on that one. Just a bit flat-footed at the moment, Manly. As they try and play it through the centre of the ground. And also be looking to try and end this wave of attack. Just need to have a bit of a reset, you'd think, with a half-time break. They can let that one go and grounded it well. Yeah, they have the advantage. Mature play there from Spice. Right decision there. You take the three. Three would be a great result here. Yeah, we know that there's no issues with Valentini's boot in terms of power. You're getting to Sydney Harbour from, from here. <laughs> Way over Sydney Road. <laughs> Sydney Harbour. Uh, Kevin Valentini. Well, can he? Let's have a look. This is such a mature last 20 minute segment here by the Manly side. It is as if they've flicked a switch. Yeah, they weathered the storm, stayed in the fight, scored a couple of tries. And they're going to come away here potentially with a six point gap, which from where they start 11 3, you know, 20 minutes ago, it's outstanding. And again, we go back to some of those players in the, in the front making some big plays. Manuel Futura getting some meters up the inside. Really enjoyed the battle of the back row, folks. That's where it's been really interesting with the two sides, on both sides of the ball. Yeah, absolutely. They've Both teams have really put their hand up in that battle. But for Norths, it's almost like who can get the pill for first? Yeah, they just rock solid over the ball. Margaret's made two. He's been outstanding today, I think. Jevons Fellows. A lot of pressure at the breakdown. Josh Cronfeld style in that blackhead gear. Here's this kick. May have gone a bit out to the right. No, it's successful. So the Marlins get the momentum back and they will continue their lead as we head into the halftime break. You see that? A little bit of a... <laughs> Valentini's not quite sure they went over. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that looks like it's going to the right, but it's well, called nonetheless. If it's Concord with the tallest post Southern Hemisphere, maybe it'd be a different case. 17 points to 11 at the break. And Norths, they'll have a bit of thinking to do as they head into the sheds. Let's have a look at this replay. But what about the wheels for this fantastic first try uh, from Nathan Russell? Laurie Daly Russell down the outside with the beautiful blue there on the right hamstring. Doesn't matter, he was on a treadmill for the last 20 metres. Did what he had to do. And the hands here, it was Douglas. Look at that. Easy as they come. Just beautiful work, patient and attacking the line. Lange Gleeson. A fantastic effort. And then again from the home team. They went over once and then had to go over again, but they got it. 
Good patient forward play. North's defence was just unable to repel it this time. Both off the back of areas, though, of Northern Suburbs. That second try particularly, Angus Sinclair off the, off the back of a great turnover from uh, James Margan. Had the opportunity to kick it a touch and just caught it on the toe. Slight little shank there and Manly made them pay. Well, it's going to be an absolute cracking second half. And, of course, later on in the year, tickets are now on sale for the Wallabies versus England. Jump onto wallabies.rugby to book your seats for the much-anticipated three-test series, which culminates on July 16 at the iconic Sydney Cricket Ground. Plus, every test will be ad-free, live and on demand here on Stan Sport. That's going to be an absolute fantastic series come July. You'll be there, I'll be there. But right now, Tom and I are going to have a quick break and we'll be back with the second half of Round 5, Charter Hall Shoot Shield. It's the Manly Marlins leading Norths at Manly Oval.
It's Charter Horse Shoot Shield live from Manly Oval, and it's the Marlins leading at home against Norths in this clash. And I'm joined by former USA and international and Shoot Shield stalwart Tom Kulikin. Tom, what a cracking game we've got here as the sun comes out in the beautiful Northern Beaches. And I have it on good authority the sun will be here for a couple of days, but in the meantime, we've got an outstanding game in front of us right now. North jumping out to 11-0 win. And obviously there's Sir, Sir Roden Cutler VC shield up for grabs. So the boys are playing for some silverware. The boys are absolutely playing for some silverware. And if you're not sure of that, it's the the home team keeps it. And you've got to win it off a, uh, a different team. And it sort of travels around all the teams across the years. But Manly in possession at the moment. North will be looking to get that one back. It's going to be a huge four. Second half coming up. Where do you think Norths have to claw back some momentum? Obviously lost the battle the last 20 minutes. So most importantly, they've got to restore a little bit of confidence and conviction to themselves of what they're trying to do there. They lost the battle in that last 20 minutes. They've got to step up here. That's absolutely crucial. And they've got to score next. This game can go anywhere if they don't. Yeah, absolutely. It's manly, they're, they're keen to get things underway. They're out on the field. We're just waiting for northern suburbs to join us we can't blame them the sun is out the bowling club is close and it's ladies day but he's my got tent look at that very proud yeah you can see plenty of people over enjoying the festivities and that's what we love about the charter hall shoot shield and of course tonight there's plenty of action coming up on stan sport it's the harvey norman super rugby pacific and up next we've got the waratahs against the crusaders that's going to be live at leichardt oval Coverage starts from 4.30 p.m. Kickoff at 5.05 p.m. So you can watch this game to the, de to the absolute death and then flick over to watch the Waratahs play the Crusaders at home. And that's going to be a real test for the Sydney-based team, Tom. Absolutely right. I'm looking forward to heading over to Leichhardt over this afternoon. It's a really dry deck, so expect a real fresh, crisp game of running rugby over there. And some exciting changes there for the Waratahs. And you know, Jake Gordon starting at halfback. We've got... Even got uh, Ed Craig from, e from Eastwood Rugby Club. Is it PDHBE teacher at, at Shaw School stepping in to jump on the bench to wear number 16, the hooker crisis? The, the rags to riches story, not often described from a Shaw teacher, but it's good to see. <laughs> 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 so, we're about to have kickoff in this second half. Valentini will look to get us underway. So a scrum just on that far side of the field. Not how either team would have wanted necessarily started this second half, but a little bit of momentum potentially here for the Marlins, Tom. And that's not what Northern Suburbs would have wanted. They've lost that kickoff. Manly, a menacing opportunity there. Their tails are up. Spice sends it to the danger man, Valentini, who crashes into the wall of red and black jerseys. Manly, little ball on the inside. Gleason, Gleason gets away. He charges for the line and he will score underneath the post. Lange Gleason, a fantastic effort and the absolute brilliant start the Marlins would have wanted in this second half. Oh, shut the gate. Northern Suburbs, they missed the jump. They came out to 11-0 start in the first down. The second half, they lose the kickoff. Manly, the menacing opportunity, look to be Kamasala with a crash ball up the middle on the outside. Gleason around the corner, taking the bull by the horns. This, this game has been screaming for somebody to do that, folksy. Absolutely. And the man himself, Langy Gleason, going over the try line again. Former junior Wallaby. And he's in the Waratahs wider squad, just showing his ability and experience. Let's have a look at the replay again. You could just see the pace 
as the North's defence just caught a bit with a bit of a gap in the middle of the field. And that is not the way the visiting team would have wanted to start the second half as Valentini, again, easy as you like, sends this over Manly Road. Oh, Manly Road's the other side, isn't it? No, City Road's the other side. City That's Manly, Manly Road. Right. I was correct. right. I should have backed correct. myself. Just the start that Manly would have wanted. And the execution of that play, Felupia with the one up on the scrum, just gave him the ascendancy. And then Kamasala around the corner, great carry. And then Gleason hips and shoulders through and 2v2 strong. But the detail there on the shape, the roles and responsibilities, outstanding play for Manly. Sinclair sent it in the orbit, has it gone 10? So I think it was touched off a Manly player, but nothing's, just, just nothing's going right here, is it, for Norths? Yeah, this is a real character test for Norths. Like, they are a team of just doing the little one percenters and building pressure that way. And at the moment, it's just not happening for them. Yeah, that Eric Kiff Mega Sinclair, I haven't seen that from him before. And obviously, we're not going to pack a scroll in the middle of that cricket pitch. But <laughs> just as you said, folks, the uncharacteristic mistakes... And we've got a manly side here that is, as I said, getting better every single week. And it takes a while for combinations to gel, for coaching and playing combinations to gel. And Phil Blake, Crystal Lou, did a great job at City University last year, both in different roles. Chris with the women's side and Blakey with the men's side. But you can just tell this team is starting to hum. Absolutely. And not too far away from Norths on the ladder. So a win for Manly today would be a real statement on how season 2022 is playing out. Plenty of time left to go on this match, though, and Norths, you know, they can come back from anywhere. Spice feeds it in, shoots out the back quickly, and a little knock-on from the Manly halfback. And you can just see him just looking at himself in frustration. He knows that was an unnecessary error. There was no real pressure on him. Just Almost passed the ball before he grabbed it. Uh, eyes lit up. He got a little bit too eager there. Nick Duffy. Those little 1v1 halfback battles that you love to see. The battles of the mini men. So we're having a scrum in the exact same spot. But Norths will have the feed. Great opportunity for them. This is their chance to counter punch. Great opportunity. Sinclair will want to seize this. Got some great mature heads out there. Just be a change in the back row as well there. Number eight. We'll, we'll get that confirmed for you. The bounce has gone to back row. Has gone to six. We've got Hamy Sinclair has come on. Let's we'll confirm who's gone off. Duffy under all sorts of pressure. That scrum is... Going backwards, but he manages to get his hands on the ball, and a good pass to Russell is met well in the tackle and loses the ball. And that's got the Manly players up, and isn't the crowd getting into it as well? Tails are up. Off the back of a massive scrum in the loose head side there by the skipper, Felupia. Great, huge scrum there from the big man. And it was a great sort of convincing shot there from the northern suburb, from the Manly side. Just Duffy. Oh, good textbook tackle. Very difficult to get momentum when in that you can't move middle the of the field. <laughs> yeah. And dare I say it, the Marlins, they can smell blood in the water. Well, I think they can. This is their opportunity. And as you said, they ain't going to get much better than this. Norse had that chance. They had a glimmer of hope. They've absolutely butchered it. So Spice... Feed the ball into the scrum. He's looking to rectify his previous handling error. Again, ball shoots out and he gets his hands on it. And a slap down, I think, by a North player. This could be interesting. Uh -oh. I mean, yeah, the Manly Duffy player was in front of him anyway. Duffy didn't need to do that. He's lucky it's not a yellow card. If that's seven, that's a yellow card. Yeah, that's been an interesting feature of the, of the last couple of rounds, hasn't it? We haven't seen too many players yellow carded yeah, for that kind no, of no, We saw, it, we saw a scenario where the referees just transitioned, you know, that straight law is a hand down and seven to the yellow card. And I think it isn't as applicable, in the, in, you know, in the seven versus 15 man on format. Which on the far side, you mean? So, oh, sorry, yeah. I mean, Duffy, sorry, though, on, a silly mistake. Side, and piggybacking opportunities yeah, here for Manly, yeah, folks. Sorry. He just keep okay. giving them a chance. So that ball is kicked. Not as firmly, I'm sure they would have liked, into North's territory. 
But it is right in front of uh, <laughs> the couple of tents there. I feel like the manly social secretary is going to come for me. <laughs> I, I officially distanced myself from your I comments. might have prematurely <laughs> shot, shot from the hip there. <laughs> there are females at Manly Ladies Day. We can confirm that. So the Marlins start to rumble at the back of the line out. And they're just going backwards at the moment. North's just applying a bit more pressure. Spice, he wants to get his hands on it. Hildebrand, just happy to hold it at the back though. He still senses an opportunity as they reorganize the Marlins and now continue their charge. This is North's going backwards. And, ooh, bit makes of, no sense to me. Is that truck and trailer? Yeah, it looks like detached. Detached. So, yeah. Often, it's called an obstruction. It's when the player holding the ball detaches from the rest of the rest of the moor and therefore is an obstruction when he releases that, that bind. But very lucky for North to get away with that. Manly were on the front foot. Looked to be a, a collapse more there from Northern Suburbs, which is your, basically your bailout Hail Mary option because momentum has run away from you. Jeez, it's all manly at the moment, but a play here, a try here, three, five or seven folks, he could really seesaw this game straight away. That's how close it is. Well, we have seen the momentum swing already in this match. And North's strike back. Good line out. It's Great taken throw, off the top by Declan Carroll, and they start to probe, just going up in the middle of the field. And go back to the left, Duffy. Throws a little looping pass. Sinclair thinks about it, and then gives it away to... The danger hooker, Margan, who's still going, places the ball back. Duffy looks to go left, decides to go right. Now North start to play it in the middle of the field. Good run there from Russell. Chopped down, though. Duffy looks to find a runner on the inside. There was no one there, though. Now it's just pop pass. Beary. And this is good for North. Oh, I had to it, take that. It's been stolen. And now that it's a run from Omson, who gives the ball away brilliantly. And Tui just couldn't get it. Oh! Now the pass goes to Thompson. He puts the big don't argue out, but it's chopped down about 12 metres short of the line. Oh, Russell has Spice the has the advantage. And now it's all Manly. Can they move it? North's defence is in chaos as they try to shut this down. Manly, they go back to the left. Omson, the danger man with the boot. What can he do here? Eventually wrestled to the ground, but lost it, I think. No, it's there for Spice. He sends it out, trying to find something in the middle of the field. Can they crack? This North's defense again, spiced out to the right. The Marlins just slowing it down now as they reorganize their attack. Here comes Ward. Great carry from Ward. We know how dangerous he can be. Spice again goes out to the right. Lange Gleason throws the long speculator. Doesn't find the man. Russell, but, Russell must be in trouble. Referee today, James Quinn, who's been doing a fantastic job out in the middle, as he always does, very high standard. Referee. Yeah. James Quinn. These guys never back then, okay? Having a chat to in my opinion, Harry Bury. Not a huge impact on the ball from 13. Russell, okay, it's extremely lucky he's too much. The, the issue now is though, whenever we come down this end of the field, points to the 11. Away, under North Next don't want to be here, giving the away a play to the sin bin at the moment. And Harry Bury, uh, a little test of his captaincy here at the moment. He's going to have to control his troops as. A bit of frustration there from the Shoreman. Definitely a good head on his shoulders, the young Wagga Jr. Such a mature head to have around your side. Sinclair, Russell, Bury. Such a great crux. Duffy as well. Bouts, Margan. A number of stalwarts on this side that have been around this team for, for a significant amount of time and seen that maturity. You know, they've made a manly side going the other way. Yeah, look, looking to take the points. And it's what North's opted to do early in this match. So showing a bit of respect between the two sides as we look at this replay. And it looked like North's were going to wrestle something back from this second half after being slammed by this onslaught of the Marlins. And then just this take, the pop in the air and the run from Omsen and the beautiful little... Round the back. Tui, the offload again. It was enterprising and damaging from the Marlins. Oh, Russell with the cover defence tackle. Lucky, uh, extremely lucky not to be a yellow card. As that ball is sent over the black dot. So Valentini continues his good run with the boot. With the penalty. 
And they just stretch out this lead to 27 points to 11. 52 minutes gone in this match. Wherever you're joining us live on Stan Sport, thank you very much for enjoying Charter Hall Shoot Shield. Whether you're enjoying it live or in the comfort of a replay, it's great to have you as part of our fantastic competition. As Manafatoa has met well. Gets the ball back for his own team. Lange Gleason oh, just Falcon. throws it into his captain's face. I'm sure won't be appreciated in the review. Duffy goes out to the left. And Morton again, the intercept. Again, mainly give away. Another one. A fantastic run from Valet. Sorry, from Kamasala, who will score a fantastic try from the home team. Harry Fury with his arms up being like, what's going on? He's calling for the knock-on. North, dismayed by this turnaround, but it is all the manly at home. And what a fantastic, enterprising steal that was. Oh, nobody knows what's going on here, but every single bounced away of the North's overside in the first half, and contrastingly in the second half, it's all manly. See the play here. Sorry. Duffy on the outside finds Margan. It's just. A little bit quicker than Russell, still going yeah, the big sure. man. Absolute speed and just read that play like a book. Do you have the same picture I had? Two head. intercepts scored down that yeah. end of the field. That could be too little, too late for them on the suburb side. Yeah. It really has all bounced Manly's way in the second half. They've made their own luck, they've made the most of their opportunities. And all the suburbs, just uncharacteristic mistakes that we haven't seen for a long time from this side. Just to clarify for all you people playing at home, off the head is not a knock-on. Off the head is not a knock-on. Yes, if you're thinking that was a knock-on, off the head is not... It's not the hands, not technically well, classified be, yeah, as elbow. a knock -on. Well, chest isn't either, so that would make perfect sense. I've seen someone chest the ball through for a try. I think that was in sevens. Now look, Teeny. Looks towards the post, kicks high. It's good and successful. So Manly tighten the screws on Norths and extend their lead, 35 points to 11. And it's certainly the sun is shining for a great ladies day at Manly Oval. Jeez, Northern Suburbs staring down the barrel of a loss versus East, potentially another loss versus North. And they've got University next week, doesn't get any easier. It's a little knock on there, but Norths now get it to Sinclair, looks to go one way and decides I'm not running on that mud track, get me away from it, turns back to the left. Duffy shoots it out to the left, it goes to Margan. They're just probing again on this far side, run away. Thornton, big Scottish import, played in Scotland's under 18s and 20s side. Duffy. And Bury, the captain who looks to slice through, gets the offload away. And this is much better from the visiting team. They've gone 15 metres over the advantage line. Matt Ryan gets the ball away. Still there for North's gone backwards is the call. Duffy sends it in the middle of the field, looking to find a little gap in this Marlins defence. They're really muscling up at the moment. Sinclair, his 99th game for the club. And a little knock on from Margan, who's been so good with ball in hand. The North took up. Might just lost in the sun there, tricky on that far side of the field, but that's the most enterprising and phone point rubber we've seen on the other side in a while. They did everything right. Great ball from Bury. Marlin, the big Bo Peep. And they had numbers there. It was a three-on-one opportunity. It's the best we've seen North look. Bury slicing through, found bouts on the outside, and they're going to have to score next, folks, if they want to be anywhere near this game come 80 minutes. Yeah, they really do need to be the next to score. So a scrum, which will be Manley's feed. Manley next week, they faced Eastwood at home. It doesn't get much easier for them either. A couple of great rounds next week. Manly Woodies, University Norths. Oh, big grudge matches there. 
Of course, we need to talk about the two Blues as well who beat Gordon last week. Oh, fourth grade, second grade and first grade. I was over there at university today and they put up a fight in every single grade. Western City, two Blues. Something building out in the West, which is good to Fantastic. see. As the ball is kicked through and that's a lovely bounce pass, but it's taken well by Ryan. Seeing too much of him with ball in hand. And what can he do here? He gets away and just changes the angle. Matter for two is over there. He should be taking that. I think he has and referee Quinn agrees. So a great steal. And again, North will be frustrated. They built something and just were unable to secure it. Matt Ryan probably just isolating himself a little bit with that run. He fell the wrong way. Literally fell right into the trap of Manor for two and the manly side that was coming from that inside. He falls on the outside, gets a long place, and he buys himself some time for support to come through. But Manor for two, just clinical play there from the centre. He's playing on both sides of the ball. Outstanding play. A couple of changes here for Northern Suburbs. Yeah, looks like they're getting the bench on. Just, just as we come to about 22 minutes left to go, give or take in this second half. Of course, we are on referee time in the Charter Hall Shoot Shield. So, Manly. Get that ball off the line. Good contest in the end. Oh, give a huge shove. Taken by Manly, I think. So that's going to be a North speed. Good pressure coming from the Shoreman. Just taken by Manly. North came across, defended it really well. The Manly, fortunately, Manly played down here as well. Second rower, Clement Fontaine is coming off. Sammy Kitchen, Knox Boyd, 99 caps coming on the field. Plenty of first grade experience right there, and what a great player to come on. Him and James Margaret have been seesawing for that first grade number two role for quite a while. Both outstanding players. Yeah, fantastic to see. And comes on at a, at, a, at a critical moment for his side. Oh, has it? A police runaway. The Fijian title prop has just been outstanding. He's carried really well, he's scrummed really well. He's worked his absolute gut out all day, and I've been out, I've been really impressed with him. At 125 kgs, get around the park. Play to move, get around the park. Quickly. Okay, guys, we've had no issues with the up until this point. You must have a gap, okay? Don't touch shoulder to shoulder. Jolie, uh, Jolie Lotowa also played for Fiji. So, it's kind of tight a prop that you want. He's mobile, but he's also incredibly hard to move. He's just been a real quiet achiever. So we're just having a little reset in the scrum, a little classic move as you get replacement Crowbell. front rowers. Everyone just finding their rhythm Bang. in this match. Set! Still! Duffy, so the man on the mission at the moment is Spice, just tries to get in his way and get in his grill a little bit, but it doesn't matter. Bury now with the ball in hand, sends it around the back to Ryan. Ryan passes it across and the Are ball's lost. So now Manly have an opportunity of what have been a, should have been a simple play for North. It's two from North on that side of the field. Two in a row. Two, he took that one into contact. Spice sends it back. Finds his Valentini, his fly half. Good little roll there, not held. The Sun just starting to get in everyone's grill. And a long looping pass over the top. Almost another intercept, but ball into ground. And that is a penalty. It's all going manly. I mean, that's a tough call. He's clearly going for the intercept. Unfortunately, it's just kind of ricocheted downwards. And look, two unforced errors there from the Northern Suburbs side on the left-hand side of the field. The Manly, they're creating their own luck. They're making the most of their opportunities. But we're starting to see some mistakes creep into this Northern Suburbs side that you just don't see usually. They're usually far more poised, far more in control. So, he's making for an interesting last quarter. Norths are going to have to really flick a switch and it might be a case of... In case of emergency break glass, I think we're at that point. As Manly continue their dominance, and they do well off the top. Galatini with a little kick over the top, speaking of which, but it's taken well by Ryan. We know he's got speed. The North's fullback gets the ball away. Who's it come down for? It will be a penalty to the visiting team. They finally get one back. So... About 45 metres out from their own goal line. Norths look to just really heave this downfield. Bruce Sinclair. 
He finds touch just just outside the 22. Plenty of people here enjoying the festivities at Manly Oval. See a lot of young kids running around enjoying the, the grounds. Looks like Colts warming up in the background too. Sam Kitchen just getting some clarity on that call from Declan Carroll. Staring right into that setting Sydney Sun. Does well though, taken by Carroll. North just hold it at the back. Kitchen breaks away and then sends it. Now North just asking questions, flat passes. They're doing really well, Seb. Can they don't go for the line. This is going to be a oh, try. He's done well. Fantastic effort from Seb Cameron. Slams the ball down. It was just pass, 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 pass. And North, clinical in this second half at last, get their reward. We knew they needed to be the next to score, and they've managed to get the points. Thursday night, captain's run special, that one there. Short line out. Kitchen with the great throw into the sun, as you mentioned there, folks. He, great little more. He cheered off really, really well. He found the outside man. Everyone did their roles perfectly. Great little decoy lines there on either side. Slick hands from depth. Great pass there by the fullback, Matt Ryan. More importantly, he found Seb Cameron had a lot of work to do. Stepped inside Manu for two up and crashed over and slamming the ball down. And textbook try there from a start of play. And perhaps there's a little bit left here in the wounded beast, Northern Suburbs, folksy. Yeah, absolutely. We've, all, we've seen the momentum swing in this match already. Sinclair will want to add the extras on this just to edge that scoreboard just a little bit closer. What can he do here? Kick is looks pretty good. Has it legs. got the legs? I think it has. So successful kick. And Sinclair, cool as you like, adds the extras. 34 points to 18. There's still a fight left in this match. Tom Cooligan. Tell you what, 16 points. Northern Suburbs, Shawman can score next. This is anyone's. Still 15, 16 minutes to go. It's been a seesawing event all game. I can't see that trend shifting at all. Got to secure this exit. Martini kicks deep. It's taken well in that far corner by North. And they kick it out of trouble. Smart play there from the Manly Marlins. Deep penetrating kick. North counter punch, but not quite on the other side of halfway. It was a good kick chase too. Someone's got to make a play here from North. They've got to score next. Shown a lot of fight to get back in. They were gone for all money, you know, five, ten minutes ago. Yeah, this, this is a, a test of North's character. Ooh. Ooh, that did not look straight, but play on says referee. Spice spots a bit of space and slices through it like a knife through hot butter. A hot knife through butter. <laughs> now Ma, Ma, Manley just looking to ask some questions. They go to the right. Just ball goes to ground. North muster over the ball and they get the reward. Manly too slow in support. And that's a team that's showing real fight in this match. They are not done yet. Picking bodies off the ground, but it might have been the winger there, Maua. He hasn't had a huge, huge amount of opportunities today, but we know what he can do. It's probably what's going to take this game. Is someone making a big play? And we just saw. Ryan and Cameron combined his score there. Will be Mua and Ryan potentially next time. <laughs> Very similar position where they just scored. So, a real test now. It's a tough line-out position to throw in, in that corner with the sun in your eyes. Sam Kitchen. Throws high. Does well? No. Not straight. Says referee Quinn. As I said, it's tough throwing in that side of the field. Tough call there on Sam Kitchen. Unopposed, back of the line out. Not much in that. Just drifted off with that little tail spin towards the end of the throw. And I mean, that's really, really disappointing let off there. So, going to come for a scrum, Manly. Just going to take their time here. They're in no rush to pack this down. I mean, that's, that's a tough, that's a tough call on Sam Kitchen. Mm -hmm. That's a really tough call. Wasn't much in that. I mean, are we refereeing by, you know, the, the absolute line-by-line -line rule of the law core, but unopposed line out the back. We're talking about centimetres there. 
tough call. Well, it's a moment in this match. About 14 minutes left to go. Manly Marlins really asking the questions of North, who are on the top of the table. Manly currently sitting in third. They'll be looking to get points today before they face Eastwood next week or hot on their tails on the ladder. That scrum just not happening for anyone, so we'll pack it down again. It's an absolute crack of a game. Eastwood being yeah. Manly. Well, it's cracking games. Left, right, center. That's what we were talking about. There's no flog side in the competition. There's no easy round. You know, we saw Western Sydney get up against Gordon last week in first grade, second grade, and fourth grade. We've got West Harbour across all grades. They're competitive. You know, they won second class for Sydney University last week. That never would have happened a few years ago. And every side. And they're getting better, and it's getting closer. Yeah, we talked about that in an earlier round, about you know, how teams are going to bounce back after missing half the season last year. Three but it looks like there. huge pressure coming from the North Scrum. That's a that's a real oh. statement of intent. It's a little bit of justice there for Sam Kitchen, I feel. You know, every team has come out firing. And now, great charter horse shoot shield competition. It's fantastic that every game is live. An exclusive on Stan Sport, your home of rugby. Why would you need to go anywhere else as that ball is kicked well into Manly territory? This is a massive, massive moment in this game. A huge opportunity for the North Suburbs side. They're set pieces on the ascendancy. North. What can they do here? Well taken by Carroll. They start to rumble. Manly push back in defence. Kitchen with the ball at the back. They've got... They've got to be patient. They've got to be patient. They've got the platform up front, and they've got just, the advantage. They're getting slow meters at the moment. Just little centimeters. Kitchen still with ball in hand. Just tucked under the wing. He's go got here. the option. Duffy goes out. Shapes to go, and then goes himself. Has he got there? It's a sea of bodies, but it's a try. North strike back to back, and they are well and truly charging back into this game. What a statement of intent. The patience of the forwards, and they get the reward of their effort. Oh, Sam Kitchen making a mess in that scrum. Great throw on the line out. We set their platform up front. They had the patience. They had the advantage. Nick Duffy darting around the side there. It was an absolutely outstanding setup there by the north side. Kitchen found Duffy. Throws the dummy. Crashes around. A lot of work to do there. Three, three or four bikes he's gone through. Twice the size of him. It's a massive play there by the northern suburbs side. And 34-23. Kick to come. This is a crucial play. Goes within nine points. This game could be anyone's. That's what we love. A photo finish. We've had a couple in the last few rounds we've called, Tom. So this is looking like we might be heading in a similar direction. Sinclair. A slightly less difficult kick to his last one. Can he continue the form he's had? Looks good. Looks strong and successful. So as we round the last ten minutes of this match. It's up there for everyone. And Nick Duffy playing like a man on the mission, the former Australian schoolboy. That's two caps for the Oz schoolboys back from 2014. Went down to New Zealand schools that year. We did, but we, I think the other team we played was Fiji schools, if memory serves. And Joseph's College product. Had the Colts program at the university. He's an outstanding player, Nick Duffy. Really, really matured. Was kicked high by Valentini. Not as long and deep this time. As North's just trying to run it out of their own danger zone. Do the penalty here in all the suburbs. They'll try and milk one, I suspect. And what can they do here? The momentum swung back to North's. We know they've got a few cards up their sleeve. They've been tested in the last few rounds on the scoreboard. It's a great kick. Oh, the ball's been lost forward. Comes back for North's. Gary Butts did the work there. Now North's just not able to get that ball securely. And a little knock on coming take from that. Manly. 30 minute in that game, they'll take that opportunity. It's a great up and under for Bury. There was multiple pins of pressure there from the North Suburbs side. It was all guns blazing on the kick chase. And what's most important here is we've seen the power of the North Suburbs scrum. 
So they can milk a penalty here. That'll get it back down there. If they can score in the next four or five minutes, whether it's three, five, or seven, they'll know they're a one-scoring opportunity and a chance to win this game. They've got to score in the next three or four minutes. Really critical scrum. Both packs will be aware of that. You can just feel in the ground there's a bit of electricity in the air. That's what they want to see. A great club rugby clash, and they're getting it served up to them on a silver platter here at Manly Oval this afternoon. I've got to say... Shawman are winning the battle of the bench at the moment. Kitchen's come on, he's done a good job. Jack Brewer's done a good job, really solidify that scrum. Conversely, the Manly side, their scrum and their injections, conversely, they've gone backwards. And North's there. Ooh, that's anyone's. Duffy gets it away to Sinclair, who wants to get it away from the pitch, sends it to Bury, who sends it to his fullback, Ryan. Ryan passes it on. I think it was maybe lost. Mahu collected. Still there for Norths. With a slow ball and good defence there coming from the Marlins. They're calling for the penalty, but nothing on. Good run there from, well, good take there rather, but Bortz was driven backwards. Stationary there. He had to be moving forward. Going backwards here, North. And Duffy realised, probably passed it to the wrong man. Had to run around to sort of rectify the situation. Still there, though, for the man in, in red and black. You can see a rush up of defence from Manley. So Duffy had a se second thought, thought I'm going to take this into contact. Good pressure coming from the home team in defence. Yeah, not going to let North get any momentum more, you'd say, in this match. As the North side go backwards. Here comes Yuri. Straighten things up and will earn the penalty. So not what head coach Phil Blake will want to see from his side. With seven minutes left to play. That's what we said. It's only piggybacking penalties that's going to get Norse down to that segment there where they can score tries. They don't have much to attack. They've gone right. They've not packed the kick. They're going to try and see what's on on this our broadcast side of the field. Bury passes the ball away to Cameron, who's met well in contact. And it's a, a hand sea there. of bodies. It's a little knock on. This is referee Quinn from Manly. Oh, it's a piggyback of penalties. It could be a penalty. No, it's just knock on. Knock on both ways. So we've got another substitution for Norths. Ryan McMahon enters the fray. He's a big boy. Yeah, wouldn't want to be tackling him. Outstanding shift there from Apolisi Renawa. He's been just outstanding. He has been all around the park. I mean, 74 minutes from a front row. Yeah, that's huge. A tighter prop too. He's been outstanding. Got the job done. Strong heritage of some outstanding props playing all in the suburbs. Nick Love, Ben Darwin, Scott Seo. Good pedigree of front rowers. Simon Kerr, a few other names. Duffy. Hits it in and that's a penalty too. It's North Manly just that's collapsing. Massive. According to referee James Quinn, and that battle of the packs. It's just some, there's a little bit of maturity here from this North Suburb side. It's not luck that's finding their way down to this end of the field for a couple of penalties because they don't have the firepower at the moment to get down there. It's just three or four piggybacking penalties, box hits from Fury, mistakes from, from, from the Manly side. That's how you win these games. As I said, I've seen it from Eastwood five, six years ago. It's a very similar kind of situation we've got here. Game management is the key at the moment as Kitchen gets the ball into the lineup. It's been sacked well. So no more possible. Duffy just takes his time, calls his troops round. Nice to the use lines. it. Carroll, a shot from the line out. Takes it up well. Quick ball there from Duffy. Norths. Let's go round this back. A good run there from Brewer. Fresh legs there from the north side, making a difference. Duffy back to the left. Just probing at the moment. They're building pressure. Need to ask something here. Then the next to score. Edging closer. Carroll. Met well in the de defense by Manley. Almost a, an opportunity for Pilfer. They decide against it. Still Damage. going. Five meters from the line now, Norths. Duffy just he dropped it forward, did he? I think he did. We'll come back for the penalty. 
Attacks it quickly, oh, goes himself. himself. Has oh! he got over the line? He has. He's second. Enterprising play from the North halfback. Absolutely brilliant stuff. Caught Manly napping, and he gets the try. And North are within a sniff of victory in this match. Tails up, Northern Suburbs, the Shoreman. Piggybacking on Manly Marlin mistakes to get themselves down there. Penalty after penalty, mistake after mistake. They had the advantage. Duffy with the heads up play. Taps quickly. The Marley Marlins were asleep. Backs turned. He's gone through three plays to get there. Absolutely. Like a pinball going through a machine. A very important kick here for Sinclair. This is huge. This will make it. It's a three point ball game at the moment. Sorry, four point ball game. <laughs> Can't. I just read that as a three. Thank you. <laughs> so this kick is crucial. Seventy-seven minutes gone. Sinclair on the twenty-two, about seven meters in from that far sideline. Kick is high. It looks good, and it's accurate. Jeez, so he's been clutch. We have a photo finish on our hands once again in Charter Hall's Shoot Shield. It's the match of the round today. It's Manly and North, and it's a two-point ball game with two minutes left to play. Oh, it's coming down to the wire. You feel basically fingernails left. <laughs> I don't have any fingernails left. You gotta love it. It's the best club rugby competition in the world. This exit's absolutely crucial. And we saw piggybacking penalties and mistakes, which allowed Norse to get down. Will this happen again? They don't have the firepower to go 90 metres, I know that much. Galatini sends it. Now Norse reply with their exit. They're going to get it just shy, just over the 22. Looks like there might be more than a couple of minutes to go. We are on ref's time. Yeah. It's three to four minutes, which would probably suggest why Norse have opted to kick out there. Should acknowledge our referee today, led by James Quinn. He's done a good job, James Quinn. Get in. Get in. Referee Churchill Grand Finals. He's he's done it all. He's very good today. He's done Junior Wallabies matches as well. Around the traps in Australian rugby. As Manly take it off the top quickly, and a good hit coming from the North's defence. That was a, a three-on-one tackle. Oh! It's uh, the shoulders are warmed up, and a little pick and go from Aaron Blacklock. Places the ball back. The Marlins, they're on the charge now. Toa. Just outside the 22. Can Manley get some points themselves and a good run coming from Wilson Dulay. Got to be disciplined here, Northern Suburbs. Three points and end it. Goes out to the right. The Marlins they can keep the ball in hand. That's one way to ensure victory. They haven't had too much possession in the last 12 minutes of this match. It's been all Norths. Norths will be desperate for the ball. There's the mistake. There's the mistake. I just thought, man, they were trying their arm too much. What I'd like to have seen an opportunity like that was your 10 getting back into a corner. Valentini just sitting there and plucking it down the right-hand corner. Bit of maturity. Turn him around. It's very hard to hold the ball mistake-free for three to four minutes. Ooh. Was that? A, it looked like they could have gone backwards. That one could have gone either way. Perhaps it was the regather on the ground there. Got to trust, got to trust the yeah. man or woman in the middle. You know what all the subs are going to do here. They'll try and scrum for a penalty, get the opportunity to get down there. If they're inside Manly's half, they're a chance. Two points, <laughs> ball game, 34-32. There's plenty of action live on Stan Sport this afternoon. It's the Waratahs and the Crusaders on after this match. So I hope you're parked up and enjoying your rugby live on Stan Sport. Sun will be out at Leichhardt Oval. Can't wait. Aaron Wampy's heel. Great place to be. Fantastic. The Tigers got the tail up. Yeah, absolutely. Two for two. Yeah. So just a little reset on this scrum. Crowd. It's probably one or two minutes to go based off our timing. As I said, Norths will milk, try and milk a penalty here, get down, and then look to repeat that effort. I just don't think they've got the firepower to go 75 metres here. Duffy feeds the ball in. Oh, it's not cool. It's a strike there, Kitchen, but they've got the reshove. 
They get it across, they fire it out to the left. Sinclair over the top. Now North's charge, looking to probe through this manly defence. And it's a good run coming from the visiting team. Duffy manages to get it back. They're inside the half. This is good from the visiting team and a good run there coming from Brewer. He's fallen the wrong way. He's done a good job to get the ball back there. As well, and just finds it out to the captain in Bury. He was monstered in that tackle. Not sure what's going on here with the, the Northern's oversight. But just a bit flat foot, a bit of confused. Need to control it. Manly go over the He's top. On his feet there. Steal. The skipper's on his and feet. And it is. The skipper's on his feet. That's a fantastic play at the death. Ivan Felipe with the steal. The captain of the team, and that's a captain's knock when you need it. I mean, we said it there, didn't we, folks? He Norse just flat footed. Bury Sinclair. They didn't have the firepower to go center 80 meters. The plan was to milk a penalty and pick it back down there. It was only a matter of time. This has been inevitability about it, if you will. Sinclair got caught in the traffic. Two manly players on his on their feet look to be Zach Barabas and then the skipper as well, Ivan Felipe. Huge play there and manly. Worthy, worthy, worthy winners and they'll kick this somewhere into the Pacific Ocean. No, go for the penalty. Just to soak up a bit of time as well. I mean, I hope he knows he's got to kick it dead. This is a interesting play. This has been an absolute fantastic clash of charter hole shoot shield. He's a lot more co confident with his clubs than I am. <laughs> he's been so good with the boot all day. Can he finish and put the icing on the cake and what's been Absolute cracking match. Looks towards the posts. Comes up to the ball, strikes. Manly gives chase as a unified team, and it's gone wide, so it's still in play. North Greek gather. This game is not over. And as you said, the ball did what? not go dead. What are these guys thinking? So North's. They're in the last chance saloon. <laughs> They've got to go 80 metres, but they're still in this fight. Now, a little dance and a little weave from Cameron. Oh, it's forward pass. Oh, forward pass. Heartbreak oh. for North, but what a victory for the Manly oh. Marlins at home. They celebrate at home at Manly Oval on Ladies' Day. Manly 34, North 32. It has been a barnstorming game of Charter Hall Shoot Shield. And Manly, they go back to back after their win of the Battle of the Beaches last week. North's, their hurt continues with back to back losses. But Tom Kulikin, it was an absolute cracking clash we saw today. Oh, what a game. We saw at one stage 34 11, 23 point deficit. The Northern Suburbs side, they clawed their way back. Back to back tries, some clutch convergence there from Anchor Sinclair. Two great tries from Nick Duffy. Wasn't he outstanding? For the Manly Marlins, the lead was too big. And I tell you what, Norse there, Duffy, you can visibly see how frustrated he is. They left everything out there, didn't they? They absolutely threw everything at that match, and you can see. Let's just have a look at this replay. It's the final step. Oh, the try, sorry. This is an earlier try, and a fantastic start to the seventh, second half by Lange Gleason. And then we came across right. and saw this fantastic yeah, intercept. The intercept play there. Johnny on the spot. Semi Kamasalala. He was not on a treadmill at all. And that was a heads up play. And as we said, like those two back to back tries, the man we side. Norse just were caught napping. This is a set piece start of play. And it was the winger in there. Seb Cameron had a lot of work to do. Set piece special that one. Captain runs not. Yes. Norse here crashing over. Sam Kitchen with the ball just under the wing. And Duffy. Little dummy. Little dummy goes himself. And what was his first of two tries in the second half? Just enterprising play from the North Nine, who probably had a, a second half to really put a put a label on and just went over again real like a pinball through there. Yeah, three blokes in front of him. Heads up play there from Duffy and I think he really added that spark that they needed. He really injected himself really well in that second half and it was just too little too late there for the Northern Suburbs side. But as we said, Manly, their tails are up the Marlins. That's two big wins. Three big wins really if you, if you want to talk about it for them. And they're going in with some serious confidence. And as we said for North, doesn't get any easier next week versus students. 
Yeah, that's going to be a fantastic clash. Really looking forward to that one as well. Manly and Eastwood next week also at Manly Oval. Make sure you tune in to both those matches live on Stansport or get to the ground. And of course, coming up in July, tickets are on sale now for the Wallabies against England. Jump onto wallabies.rugby to book your seats for the much anticipated three test series, which culminates on July 16 at our iconic, beautiful Sydney Cricket Ground. Plus, every test will be ad-free, live and on demand here on Stan Sport. And of course, this evening, it's Harvey Norman, Super Rugby Pacific. We've got the Waratahs taking on the Crusaders in like five minutes. So switch over to that right now. Tom Cooligan, what an absolute pleasure calling this cracking match of Shoot Shield Footy with you. And thank you for joining us on Stan Sport. We'll catch you next time. It was the Manly Marlins victorious at home on land on Ladies' Day. We'll see you next time for some Charter Hall Shoot Shield <laughs> Rugby. Play straight after Ladies' Day. I love it.